Ganpati Papa Moria. Hi guys, I'm Sonika. Ganesh Chaturthi is approaching and what I really love doing during the festival is photographing Ganpatis. Normally photography is prohibited in temples but it is allowed in Ganesh mandals and workshops. Now even in a mandal when you go for darshan, there's crowd all over the place and you may not get enough time to photograph the idol and get really close to it. But in a workshop where these Ganpatis are being made, you can get ample time to photograph the ideas and can get really close. Ideal spots to catch Ganpatis being made are Paring Workshop, Lal Bhak, Chinchkopi or your nearest Ganesh workshop. They are spread all over the city and the one at Parel is huge, huge. So I went about photographing these idols at Chinchpokli and Parel and I want to share 10 tips with you guys for Ganesh photography. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Normally photography is allowed in these workshops but it is always sensible to ask for permission before you start clicking. Remember to remove your footwear outside the shops. So wear comfortable slippers and sandals which you can easily remove. You can use whatever gear you have with you. You don't necessarily need expensive cameras or DSLRs. You just need a tool that brings out your creativity in the best way. Although I did take my DSLR, here are a few snaps I clicked with my phone. If I take my DSLR along, I shoot in the aperture priority mode. In the aperture priority mode, my shutter speed adjusts accordingly, but I make sure it does not fall below 1 by 40 to avoid camera shake. If my shutter speed falls below 1 by 40, I start raising my ISO accordingly. Look for leading lines that kind of direct the attention of the viewer. Now I found leading lines in the cables where these kind of idols were placed. The most difficult part in painting the idol is painting the eyes. A lot of detail goes into it and they look very vibrant. Make sure the eyes are in focus and super sharp in your images. Like I always say, experiment with different angles. Don't shoot everything at your hands level. Find ways to stoop low or go high and capture your shots with different angles. The best part is that you can get very close to the items. You may not get this privilege in a temple or a mandal because of the crowd and lack of time. So try to capture close-up shots of the face, eyes, trunk, jewelry and many such parts of the gunpla. Shooting through a frame gives amazing perspective to your images. It allows you to focus on the subject and also lay emphasis on its background. The best and worst part about travel and street photography is that you don't know what you may come across. But there are certain things that you may be able to predict and get creative with. For example, I knew that I would come across many Gantati idols. So I decided to try this zoom blur effect. I tried it a fair few times at home and after many failed attempts, I finally got it right. It's fairly simple. You need to keep your shutter speed low. Anywhere between 1 by 6 to 1 by 20 should be fine. And as you click, you need to change your focal length. So as you click, you need to zoom in or zoom out. So I zoom and I click. Zoom while clicking. Not too fast, slowly that you don't shake your camera. You can achieve better effect with a tripod. Just practice it a fair few times. It's fairly simple. Stories are an integral part of human culture and storytelling is timeless. 
the artisans work day in and day out while making these idols. Try to convey the story of making these idols through your photographs. So guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I love Ganesh Putsav. The city is all lit up and looks so vibrant during the festival and I love photographing it. And if you guys like this video, give me a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or feedback for me or if you love Ganpati Papa just like me. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for more such videos. Karpati Bappa Poriya.